Yet, yeah, should I study to be a lawyer? Well, you can already argue like one. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We're excited that we've been able to create for you over 587 Life's Inside Track episodes where we share insider tips, how to make house home, making the most out of your money and your investments. And the great news is you can get access to them from home, from the office or on the go. And you can even get them from our YouTube channel. If you've subscribed, you'll get them every time a new one is created. So we're going to explore kind of a tough topic Mm -hmm. and that continuation a continuation (laughs) of another tough of the same sort of tough topic of when we disagree what stories are we telling ourselves and how do we process or navigate or move through those stories to tell better stories Mm -hmm. so we used to disagree a lot we still disagree but we're not as disagreeable exactly so we needed to learn because we're not going to agree. If you've been watching this show or listening to us for any length of time, you know that we often see things quite differently from another. The foundational stuff, we're in great alignment, but the methodology, the how-to, we see quite differently. Yeah, I think it's because you have blue eyes. I don't think it has anything to do with my eyes. (laughs) I think it has to do with our temperament, our experiences, our personalities, just the way we experience the world and live the world, live in the world. So I don't think I've ever seen a couple or a family that hasn't had disagreements. I don't think I've ever seen If you're in a relationship with somebody, whether just a friendship, at some point you're going to have a disagreement on something, the way something should go. Exactly. You're not going to see it the same way. And what we've attempted to move from is being really disagreeable, miserable in the disagreement Mm -hmm. versus being kind and gentle and loving, even in the midst of not seeing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I always wanted to be right. I have this innate need to be right. And you used to say to me, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Right. Right. And then I used to say, well, I agree with you, but then two of us would be wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, true. (laughs) But that's when we got past the real hard arguments about me wanting to be right. And I wanted to be right at the cost of our relationship being right. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about a lawyer and you used to say to me, well, you argue like a Philadelphia lawyer. I would spin things Mm -hmm. so quick that you would become... Confused, mm-hmm. chaotic. I couldn't think straight anymore. So even when I had clarity, my clarity was all gone. And I perceived not only was my perspective wrong, I was wrong. And even when I knew I was right, that I was right, that I was right, I would lose the ability to be certain in what I knew to be true. Right. And then what because, story did you tell yourself then? Well, I was stupid. That was a piece of the story that I was no good at this thing, that I couldn't get anything right. And so I walked around thinking I'd lost my mind, basically, rather than standing in my certainty. Now, and it doesn't happen like it used to at all, but as we move into these situations where we see it differently, my pretty common answer is, Isn't it interesting, or I might say fascinating, depending on the mood I'm in, (laughs) either it's fascinating or it's interesting that we have a different perspective about the same thing. Right. That it's okay to agree to disagree and be agreeable in the fact that we don't see it the same way. Mm -hmm. Nor do I want to see it the way you see it or vice versa. So when you told yourself that story Mm -hmm. about, I think you said, being stupid. Mm Mm-hmm. What what did that create emotionally for you? Well, I would cry a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd get really sad and I would get exhausted and depleted and angry at myself for not standing up for what I knew to be right for me. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would just throw into this whole pity party. There was tears. There was laying on the bathroom floor crying and carrying on or just excusing myself from even talking to you, right? Like get Mm -hmm. out of the situation. Mm -hmm. So flee, hide, Mm -hmm. and certainly couldn't talk to anybody else because I was so out of control. Right. And then I think that I caused 
you to move towards depression, sadness. Mm. You know, you, you would go to bed sad, you'd wake up sad, right? Right. Uh, whereas I'd go to bed angry, I'd wake up happy. <laughs> Just <laughs> different personality, right? right. And uh, so as we would fight, what would happen is I would put you into a state or you'd go into a state. Cause, yeah. You cause can't really put me in one. I put pretty myself much responsible in it. for your right. own state. But then I would feel then I would feel hopeless in my ability to bring you back. Mm -hmm. And now I felt, now I created a story that I caused this and I can't fix it. I can't fix your tears. I can't fix mm -hmm. your crying. I can't fix your sad. I want to. I'm a problem solver. I want to fix it. And I can't fix it. Mm -hmm. So that takes away my power because now I'm powerless and you're powerless. Right. And, and where do you go from there? We're in a mess. We're in a mess. So mm -hmm. we do have good news, though. <laughs> we do figure out how to navigate this yes. stuff. And yet, if you're anything like us, and maybe it's not as crazy as us, maybe your crazy cycle and your dysfunction is not as insane as ours was, and yet probably to some degree, we all live from this place of not functioning or saying the things that we know we want to say in mm -hmm. the way we want to say them. Yeah. And we can only give you so much in the in this video segment and radio segment, right? And we're going to give you some solution in the next after segment. the commercial break because we don't want to leave you hanging here with all this negativity, so to speak. Right. Um, but it's what we have done is we've said, okay, we've come so far and had so much improvement, so much better than it was. Even better, even right? Even better, babe? yeah. So – what we did was we wrote a book. It's called right. Life Exponential, Life X, mm -hmm. and is going to come out in a couple months. A couple months yeah. from now, it's it's not light reading. It's four hundred pages. Why scare them off before they even well, get a because, copy? Because because you don't want someone who's used to reading a fifty page book to order this four hundred page book and then go, oh, it needs to sit on the shelf. Right. It's prescriptive. It's it's entertaining. It's it's truthful. There's lots of stories in it about things that we've done, how we overcame it, how the the parts of the body, you know, your mind, your 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 mind, your body, your soul, your money, your relationships and your your faith in God, how that all comes together mm -hmm. and can either amplify or subtract or divide, I guess, mm -hmm. what kind of life you're living. So LifeX, so excited about it coming out. Yeah. And if you want to get on the pre-release list, send us an email to together at DeckerTeam.com and just say LifeX. We'll know what that means and we'll know to send you a copy of it um, or at least access to get a copy a link of to it. it. Yeah. A link to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, wow. What a what a right truth. so if, yeah true if you're sitting here going i can't believe you two just did that well then you know then you haven't watched all our episodes because not the first time we've gone down a road that is raw and real and authentic to what so many of us experience so what we really want you to do is stick around for the next segment so that we can navigate this to the other side of ease flow joy and harmony mm -hmm, for sure and thanks for growing alongside of us because we're passionate about all of us being positioned for generational legacy. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.